Now let's take a look at the new arcade classics, Pac-Man with new color screen. Awesome. Now this doesn't have the full TFT display screen like this Cubert does over here, but they at least made a version of the little Pac-Man game with a color screen instead of that monochromatic one sitting right over there. That's a fun game. I like this one over here, but I really like that they made it in a color screen now, and it gave it a more of an arcade cabinet style design. So you know, they have a nice little demo mode you can do here. You can push the little button, plays the game just a little bit, demonstrates the sounds. That's kind of neat for when it's sitting up on the shelf. And of course, I love these Funko type boxes. These are pretty much a Walmart exclusive. If you saw the Frogger review I did and and the earlier Pac-Man one I did, you saw it was on a blister pack. That came from a Toys R Us. So Walmart gets these special packages, which I like these a lot better than the blister packs. It's a really nice box. Of course, you can see the side art of the arcade cabinet on one side. Shows the game. Talks about, you know, two play modes, eat the dots, chase mode, which is the same thing as the LCD one had. So it's basically just a rehash of the LCD game I mean, the monochromatic game into a full color screen and a little better looking cabinet. So let's open this thing up and take a closer look at the unit and play some of the games. Also included in the box is a nice little manual that comes with it. Pretty well done. I like the artwork on this manual. It's just basic stuff here. It tells you how to play the game, how to play the different game modes, how to select your game mode, the scoring, all that good stuff. Talks about putting in the batteries. So it's pretty cool. Nice little manual. They do a pretty good job with these. Pretty happy with it. So here's the game out of the box. Pretty nice looking. I love this cabinet design. I really do. I like this much better than what you saw in the original release. They look like a little miniature arcade cab, which I think is really great. Same old, you know, on off switch here. We have a three position volume control. We have a start pause. We have a mode select. We can change between regular Pac-Man and the chase game. And our four-way joystick over here. Now, the biggest complaint I have about this is they put the joystick over here on the side. It should have put it right here in the middle, like the original Pac-Man game, and put the start over here or whatever. You know, pretty much what they did on their first release, they put the joystick right in the middle. That's where it should be. So I'm not too happy about that, but eh, oh well, I can get by that. Of course, on the back, we have this little pull tab here. That's just for the demo mode. When you pull this out, now the game will play uh, regularly now. Runs on our AAA batteries. Goes right behind here. So let's try the game out and see what it's like with this new color screen. All right, flip it on. Oh, wow. Now that's nice. It looks like the proper Mac Pac-Man maze. It's blue in color. Little yellow dot, see the Energizer dots blinking in the corner? That's kind of nice. So let's start it up here, start. That pretty much plays just like the LCD version, the uh, monochromatic one. I like the red ghost outlines, that's kind of neat. Kind of reminds me of the Clico VFD Pac-Man game. Oh, coolie blink. That's how they do on the Coleco Pac-Man, too. Oh, it has a high score retention. That's nice. You see, you got three little Pac-Man up in the upper right-hand corner to show how many you have left. That's pretty cool. Joystick responds fairly well. It's got some nice sound effects. Oops. It's hard to play this game through the camera. Oh, 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 the game, oh, 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 they're ganging up on me. Oh my gosh, run, little Pac-Man, run! Oh no! Rats. I got, I got chomped. Well, that is pretty cool. I really like this. Uh, even though it's just a, what, we got four colors here? It's a four-color LCD screen. I really like this much better than the monochromatic LCD game that they put out originally. 
Plus, it looks more like the actual Pac-Man maze of the arcade. Now, they put like the screen in here that, that's like in Cubert and Centipede. That would have been a home run for this crazy thing. Let's try out the other game here, Mode. Chase Mode. Okay, here's Chase Mode. Maybe I can get a dot. Come back to the center. Attempt to get a dot. Whoa! Oh, 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 no, oh, get back to the center, whoa, get back to the center, oh, the door closed, oh, there we go, door's open, yes, get out of there, oh, that's kind of a neat mode, back to regular Pac-Man. Oh look, it retains the high score, so as long as you keep the batteries in, it'll retain your high score. Now that's that's really cool. I like that. Hmm, pretty neat little unit. Overall, it's a really nice game to have in the collection. One thing I really like about this, when you put it in pause mode, it plays intermission song. That's cool. So overall, I really like this little uh, arcade unit from Basic Fun. Uh, like I said, I'm, I much prefer this over the original monochromatic one they released. So this is a welcome addition to my little collection of these little mini arcade games. Really love these things. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.